everyone what's going on I'm back with another how to video and today I'm going to show you guys how to download burn games and how to be able to play them onto your Dreamcast now the things you are going to need is obviously a computer or laptop and you're also going to need to make sure that the computer or laptop that you are getting access to um, has to be able to burn DVDs or has a DVD burner installed into it because that's what you're going to use to burn your games so make sure you get access to a computer or laptop that burns and you're also going to need a blank CDR disc I'm using a Memorex CDR make sure that it is as it has a 52 times no it doesn't have to be well don't worry about the 52 I'll make sure that it is a 700 megabit and 80 minute uh, CD because these are the best ones to get and Memorex is a brand that does work uh, I know that other brands work such as Staples um, Philips, Sony, all those work and I'm pretty sure HP works as well and the most important thing you're going to need is your Dreamcast Now. The first thing that you need to do before you before you even start doing anything, you have to check what version or model your Dreamcast is. In order to do that, you put your Dreamcast upside down, and somewhere on the bottom here, it will have a number. Now, if the number is a 0 or a 1, you are able to burn Dreamcast games. If it is a 2, then you have to buy a mod chip. In or and install it into your Dreamcast before you can start burning games. Now most people have model zero or one, but model two was pretty much manufactured a little bit before um, Sega stopped making consoles and manufacturing them. So not many people have the model two. So once you have a model zero or one, then you're all set and you can start burning. Okay. So first thing you're gonna want to do is go onto your internet browser and go onto this website it will be in the description box below it is called dcisozone.com this is where we're going to burn the games that we want it is a very excellent site and it is virus free and you are also going to want to install winrar as well as disk juggler winrar is right here and disk juggler is down there both of these will be in the description box below for download. So you're going to want to install both of those. They're also virus free. Okay. So once you open up your browser into this website, make sure you already have WinRAR and Disk Juggler installed. You want to pick which game you want to download. So on the side here, where it says downloads, here's a option that says Dreamcast ISOs, you're going to click on that, wait for it to load, and you get a vast majority of ROMs to download. There's, uh, there's A to Z, you know, there's some really, uh, exclusive games on here. They, uh, they have Sonic Adventure, Shenmue, um, Skies of Arcadia, and that's what I'm going to show you guys. Guys of Arcadia, Sonic Adventure 2, they have some really good exclusive games in here. Uh, they got Soul Calibur. So, yeah, so you're going to pick which game you want. So, let's just say I pick Skies of Arcadia. I'm going to click on it. Okay, it'll tell you the description here of what the game's about. It'll tell you the file size right here. I'll just zoom in a little bit. Alright, tell so you the file size right there. Tell so you the archive password. Sometimes when you open it up with WinRAR, it'll ask you for a password. So the password will be right there. And you're also going to want to make sure that it is a self booting um, file and that the image type is CDI. Because you're going to uh, be using the CDI and the self booting. But if you want a game that does not have self-booting, here's what you can do. Go on the search bar, which is right up there, right here. I'm going to search up Utopia. 
click enter and you'll get a file that says utopia boot disk you're going to download this and you're going to burn it onto a, onto a disk which is what I'm going to show you right now and what this does is it pretty much it's it pretty much um acts as a self booting disk so then if the game that you want is not a self booting disk you first put the utopia boot disk once it boots up you're going it's going to ask you to swap your disk so you take out the utopia boot disk and then you put in the game that you wanted that's not a self boot booter and then it'll it, and then it will start but since we are going to get self booting disk we're going to go back to skies of arcadia click on it there scroll down All right, like i said file size and click on slow download because if you want a fast download you have to register and you have to pay six dollars a month but what i like to do first is look at the comments and see if it works or not and since this has positive feedback you can click on slow download and then it will uh... It would be like a pop-up thing for you to, to uh, download. But I already downloaded that, so just I recommend saving it to WinRAR. So once it's done downloading, you're going to open up the file. You won't be needing this website anymore. You're going to open up the file. This is after you're done uh, downloading whichever game you wanted. Alright, so you open it up, like I said. And this is when you get Disk Juggler. So you open up Disk Juggler as well. Alright, this is the demo edition, so you will have to wait until the OK button appears. There we go. Alright, so now once this juggler is open, what you're going to do is you're going to click File, and you're going to click on this paper thing, and you're going to go to Burn Disk Images. So, both paper and then burst, and then burn disk images. All right, then something like this will pop up. You're going to uh, go back to your download here. You're going to take the CDI file, which is right there. Yeah, sorry. Take the CDI file, and you're going to drag it onto your desktop. So you're going to drag it onto your desktop and it's going to extract on there. So once it's done you won't be needing that anymore. You're going to click on source. And you click on source and you're going to look for that file. Since you say it on the desktop, it will be on the desktop. And since I didn't do it, you're just going to click you're going to click on it, click open. Then what you're going to do, once it's open, you'll see the file right there. You're going to go to advance and for mode Sorry. Alright, so this is the most important part. For mode, make sure it's on mode 2. Mode 2. And then that's all you need to do. Don't touch anything else. So, once you do that, you're going to grab your blank CD and you're going to put it into your PC or laptop. You're going to insert it in there wait for a disk juggler to read it alright so then once you read it you'll get something like this right there and just to make sure you're going to click on advance again and make sure it's still on mode 2 mine wasn't alright and then you're going to click and since the source was already there for you guys, you can click start. Alright, and since this is the demo version, it'll it'll burn about ten times, which is pretty slow. So once it starts, you're going to wait till it's done downloading while burning, and then the disc will pop up. You take out the disc and you can put in your Dreamcast and it'll work. Now I already burned uh, sorry, alright. I already burned a copy so I have it here so I'm just going to uh, show you guys how it plays so stand by All right.
right, right now we are on to my TV. Zoom out a little bit. There we go. Now if this thing just wants to stay still. Okay. So just to show you guys that this works, I'm going to show you it putting it into my Dreamcast. But before I do that, I have to plug it in. So please stand by. Okay, it is plugged in. So now I'm going to take the same disc as you can see here. Alright, I'm going to put it into my Dreamcast. Yeah, you guys really can't see that that well. But, um, I'll put it in there. Alright, I'm going to turn it on. And my mistake, I forgot to put it in my controller. And sometimes we'll read it as a disc, as, a, as an audio CD, just like that. If it does, you're just going to turn it off, take out the disc, and then just put it back in. And it should read. Alright, so it just read my disc and it's starting up. And if it doesn't boot up for you, you can uh, go back to your uh, advanced settings and instead of. And you, you're gonna keep mode 2 on, but you're going to. But after mode 2, you're going to click on raw write on the bottom right. It'll say raw write. You're gonna click on that. That's only if this way doesn't work. So he's going to start up here. Alright, it's loading. Presented by Sega. Yeah, I didn't cut anything out of this movie, so... This is all raw film, so uh, this is true that it does work indeed. And if you guys have any questions, uh, just post a comment or send me a private message and I will respond to the best of my abilities. There's Skies of Arcadia, I click continue. I'm gonna load my file. Yeah, I got this a couple of days ago, so I'm still at the very beginning. And there you go. It's working fine. And that's how you burn Dreamcast games. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, have fun burning your games. And just to make sure, you know, just to show you guys that this is still true. Well, indeed not false. I'm going to turn off my Dreamcast here. I'm going to take out the disc. As you can see, it is still the burn game that I had before. So this is indeed real. And that's it. So have fun burning, you guys. Thanks for watching.